Shark Tank is a wildly successful U.S. business reality show. To date, it has seen over 1,000 plus pitches and counting. Some have been memorable and some have been forgettable. Though, many fail to hook a shark and some convincing products still fail to succeed. Some go out to create wildly successful businesses. And sometimes, the shark strikeout deals so good, they end up making millions of dollars. From the crazy dude wipes to the most comfortable socks in the world, here are 10 Shark Tank deals nobody would actually believe. Let's dive right into it. Number 10, Dude Wipes. Let's start with Mark Cuban making one of the best investments in Shark Tank history. Dude Wipes, flushable wipes designed especially for men, was pitched by its three young founders and best friends from Chicago on Shark Tank in 2015. The company had started in 2012. Since then, Dude Wipes has received a lot of good press as they won a 2013 Visionary Award at the Vision 2013 Consumer Products Conference. They've also been featured on MTV, in Maxim, and other men's publications. They made a deal with billionaire dude Mark Cuban, $300,000 in exchange for 25% equity. Since then, the company has continually expanded its Dude products with Dude Shower Wipes and Dude Face Wipes. Dude products received the standard Shark Tank bump in sales and are now available in more than 12,000 stores across the US. Their revenue grew over 30 times, with sales going from $250,000 to $3.2 million. They cleaned house during the pandemic, too. Number 9. The Comfy Everyone thought brothers Brian and Michael Special were crazy when they walked into Shark Tank with their Snuggie-like sweater blanket, The Comfy. The brothers had started a Kickstarter page to fund their new venture, but realized that they weren't quite ready and pulled it down. When they appeared on the show, there were no units in production, resulting in no sales. Without anything to back them up, the Comfy had to sell itself to the Sharks. It was a startup that was as fresh as they come, and it still did sell itself. The pair entered Shark Tank hoping to get $50,000 for 20% of the company, and ultimately struck a deal with $50,000 for 30% with Barbara Corcoran who never doubted the Comfy would be a success. The company now has done $250 million in sales and is moving to other comfortable clothing items too. Number 8. Drop Stop You know that black hole inside your car? Shoulda had a drop stop. Anyone who drives a car has experienced this before. When you sit inside, your phone falls out of your pocket and it makes its way to the area right between the seat and the center console. It's lodged in the worst way possible. You can't fit your hand in deep enough to grab the phone. Mark Newberger and Jeffrey Simon, two longtime friends, saw this problem as an opportunity as no one had invented a product to prevent it. What they created was inspired by a combination of dress socks and sponge-like material. It took three years and almost $1 million to get DropStop on the market. During their Shark Tank pitch, the Sharks were pleased and Lori offered them $300,000 for a 20% stake in DropStop. The friend fought back, but after a while accepted a deal. The company went on to make $31 million in revenue over the next few years. Now that is a good investment. Number 7. Cycloramic All Bruno Francois wanted to do was make a viral app. But Francois was eager to put his computer science background and his overall passion for technology to use through his new business venture. He left his high-paying job for it. What he came up with was Cycloramic, an app that could make an ordinary iPhone 5 slowly spin around on its own to take a 360-degree photo or video using the smartphone's own gyroscope and vibration function. You could simply stand the iPhone up on its flat edge, step away, and watch the smartphone spin around for a hands-free, 360-degree shot. The Sharks loved the app so much that it started a bidding war. Francois ultimately went with Mark and Lori, who offered him 500k for a 15% stake in his company. He later sold the company for $22 million to online used car seller Carvana. Number 6. Three Jerks Jerky in 2015, Three Jerks Jerky co-founders Jordan Barocas and Daniel Fogelson went on Shark Tank seeking $100,000 in funding for 15% of their business. They started the business in his kitchen by making tasty jerky for themselves and later took it to Kickstarter. The pitch from Barocas, who has an MBA but was a newbie entrepreneur, and Fogelson won over John. He beat out three other interested sharks to make the deal. After going on Shark Tank, online sales spiked. Within three months, sales hit $1.4 million, or over 150,000 bags of jerky. But 1,000% growth also presented difficulties for the small business as they couldn't meet the demand. It's one place John has been able to help, hooking up the co-founders with Rustelli Food Groups, an operating company that now processes the jerky. Just after three months, their sales hit 3 million. Number 5. Rock Block 
After leaving a position at Apple as a creative lead, entrepreneur, and rock block inventor, Logan Riley began his ideas company called The Pink Donut. His first few projects were unsuccessful, but Roblox was an instant hit. This is Rockblock. In late 2016, Logan took the idea to Kickstarter, where their campaign surpassed its $50,000 goal, with over $350,000 from 3,615 backers. Rockblock was featured on Shark Tank, where something out of the ordinary happened. While sharks were interested in the idea, they didn't want to invest 300 k in the company, as they thought there wasn't a big enough stake in the market. But Robert Harjavec offered Riley a deal he couldn't refuse. Half a million for the whole company, with two-year job employment contact, and 2% royalty going to the founder. Riley didn't think twice and sold his company right there as he was ready to move on to the next big thing. Number 4. Scrub Daddy Knowing how difficult it can be for a mechanic to remove built-up grease and grime, Aaron Krauss invented the Scrub Daddy. It wasn't until he accidentally stumbled upon its effectiveness in cleaning products around the home that he realized he was onto something. It was then that he decided to repurpose the sponge for home applications, and it wasn't long until his product was featured on QVC. Aaron Krauss entered the Shark Tank in Season 4, Episode 7 with a strong pitch and an even stronger sponge, hoping to win the sharks over and get 100000 for 10% of his company. Aaron did just that. The result was a deal with Lori Greener at 200000 for 20%. Today, Scrub Daddy has over 48 products sold in over 30,000 retail stores in 17 countries, with 330 million in sales since Shark Tank. Number 3 In 2014, ABC Shark Tank moguls were approached by Salt Lake City entrepreneur Pat Crowley with a health food product unlike anything they'd seen before. Chapel Cricket Bars were energy bars made with sustainable protein-rich cricket flour. That's right, flour made out of ground-up iron-rich crickets. The founder of Chapel pitched his business on Shark Tank in March 2014. He went into the tank, seeking an investment of $50,000 in exchange for 5% equity. He made a deal with billionaire Mark Cuban, $50,000 for 10%. By 2017, Chapel had racked up sales close to $1.5 million and had closed a major retail deal with the natural and organic grocery store Sprout and its 200-plus locations. Number 2. Simple Sugars In 2005, Lonnie Lazari was just 11 years old when she was started making skincare products for herself in her mother's kitchen. Shortly after, Lazari graduated in 2012. Producers from ABC's Shark Tank reached out to her to appear on the show. Lazari pitched on Shark Tank in September that year. With the episode airing in March 2013, she landed a deal with Mark Cuban, whose son struggles from eczema, for $100,000 for a 33% stake in the company. That's when Simple Sugars exploded, reaching $600,000 in sales in after three days airing on Shark Tank. In a matter of six weeks, the company reached $1 million in sales. Lazari described it as the craziest time of her life. She was receiving tens of thousands of email orders and thousands of calls, buying 600 bags of sugar every day to keep up with production. The company is doing nearly $3 million in yearly revenue with 700 locations across the US. Number 1. Bomba Founders David Heath and Randy Goldberg pitched their sock brand in Season 6 of Shark Tank. The duo was inspired to create the most comfortable socks they could after learning that it is the most requested item in homeless shelters. The brand donates one pair for every pair sold, and the business model interested FUBU fashion brand founder Damon John, John offering $200,000 for a 17% stake in Bombas. Since then, the company has earned $225 million in lifetime sales after selling 42 million items. That's it for today, folks. Which one of these deals do you think was the best one? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.